Hi everybody, this is Matt. Thanks for watching and welcome back. Let's talk about concealed carry. Out of all you people that are watching me right now, how many of you that carry concealed have an extra magazine on your person? Let's see a show of hands. How many? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Not everybody. Well, why is that? Sometimes it's because of several factors. One is you didn't invest in something to put a magazine in. Two, you didn't think you're ever gonna need it. Three, you didn't want the added weight around your belt. And four, you might've had an instructor that told you that based off of his textbook, anytime there's a gunfight, it's over in less than three seconds and only three rounds. Well, reality is often way different than what comes out of a textbook. So if you look at documented shootings, especially police shootings where everything has been documented in great detail, officers have perished in the line of duty because they ran out of ammo or they got struck down when they were trying to reload. This goes back from the days when they were using wheel guns, i.e. revolvers, and even the present times where we have higher capacities available to us like 15 and 17 rounds. So I'm going to take a step back and you're going to see that I've got a Glock 19 right here. Do you see a magazine? Do you see an extra mag on my person? Well, I do have one. So let me give you a demonstration. Let's say that the worst possible situation has happened and I have had to use this and I have completely run out of everything. I have no ammo left. What am I going to do? I'm going to do this. And then I'm back in the fight. All right. How did I do that? I did it from using this little device here called a snag mag. So yeah, all that build up to this little guy here, which is a snag mag. Now what the snag mag is, it's a product that you can purchase and the beauty of it is that essentially it rides in your pocket and it looks like a pocket knife. And people today are used to seeing folks carrying pocket knives. They have this kind of clip. So the way that this rides down inside of your pocket, the average person is not observant enough to go, hey, that person is carrying an extra magazine. They're not going to see that because this rides up and normally people aren't looking at other people's pockets. Now this comes in left-handed and right-handed versions and I really like it because it makes carrying an extra mag so easy and it also means that I can have an instinctive draw because with this thing riding inside of my pocket I'll just go ahead and put it back here in my pocket. All I have to do mechanically is just reach straight down into my pocket and pull it up. And as I pull up and I come out, I can index it and go right in to the magazine well of my firearm. So it's just a very simple motion like that. So this is what it looks like. This here is the left-handed version for a Glock 19. I think it'll also work with a Glock 23. And all you have to do is just slide it down like that. This little catch is used to snag the magazine at the back part of your pocket to help draw it out um, and help ensure a smooth draw. So it just simply inserts very easily like this and then all you're doing is you're coming down I'll back up so you can see you're coming straight down so mechanically and using physics this is a good way to do it draw back up and you're good to go and this is something that you need to work into your dry weapons training as well now like I said this is a left-handed version they make them in a right-handed version. They also make them for 
other brands, other types of Glocks. They make them for 1911s. Um, I actually have one for a 1911 for an eight round mag. So they work, does the job. I think I paid about uh, $26 for this. And actually I think it's a really brilliant invention because it looks like a pocket knife and people today are used to seeing that. So if you haven't checked out a snag mag, do. I use one and if I didn't believe in it, there's no way that I would use it. So there you have it. Hope this helps. Hope it gives you a look and a little bit of a demonstration of how it operates. And until next time, everybody, thanks for watching and be safe out there.